Hi, Gary Mads from UTV Service. Hey, today we've got a great 2020 Pro XP turbo that we're gonna go through and show you the ride heights and what we're gonna do with the springs and the shocks. It's got the live body shocks on it. We're really excited, customers excited. It's got 54 miles, so we basically have a belt broke in and everything's settled. All right, and we have 31 inch tires here, so the stock is 30, so anytime you go with an inch taller tire, it's actually a half inch on ride height, so we're gonna add that to our spec. So on Polaris's website, it shows it needs 14 and a half inches ride height. If you add the half inch more in the tire size, we should have a 15 inch ride height coming off of this Polaris Pro. Uh, when we checked it, it's got 13 and a half inches on the front, ride height and the rear where we measure from here down we've got 14 inches ride height and that's after we have adjusted our collars all the way down to where there is no threads left whatsoever so and we're at 14 inches so we're right now we're an inch off and we can't get it anymore so Polaris says they're trying to come out with a fix here but here's our fix. We're gonna put a shock, a shock therapy dual rate spring kit all in this vehicle today and show you that we can get our ride heights and the customer's gonna be much happier with the dual rate spring kit. All right, now that we've got our rear shock up on the bench, we've got original springs off of the vehicle and here's the original spring comparison. This is your little tender spring. This is the upper shock therapy spring on the rear. This is your lower, this is your main spring, the original, and this is the lower spring for your shock therapy kit. So now what we've got, we're setting up our collars and our crossover rings. And right from shock therapy, you're gonna measure from the bottom right here to the bottom right on the shock housing, and it's three and a half inches from there to there, from there, shock therapy's rules. And then you go from the crossover rings, the bottom of the crossover ring, the bottom of there, it is 11 and a half inches. So that's where we've set 11 and a half, three and a half inches. So this is where, this is our starting point, and this is kind of what I'm gonna show you. Where this is where they tell you to put it. Now we're gonna install all the springs, and we're gonna get them back on the vehicle, and then we'll show, after we get the fronts, we'll show you the fronts, and then we'll show you the whole, what the, where they're actually at after we get the get them all seated in. All right, now we have the front shocks off of the XP Pro. We've got the springs off. We're setting up the collars and your splitters. So two and a quarter from the bottom from that shock body right there to the bottom, and then we have five inches to the bottom of the crossover rings to there. So now that's exactly that shock therapy setup says to start with so here's the fronts now we'll go on with their dual rate kit we're going to get them all set back up as soon as we get that all done and go run it for a couple times seat the springs we'll come back in and we'll check right out and see how we're doing right, now we've just got all the shocks and the springs put together we set them to exactly shock therapy's instructions you saw that on the bench we went out test ran it, got them seated, hit some really hard bumps, doing about 30 miles an hour, came back in, ride height on the back, spot on, 15 inches, that's exactly what we want. Problem here is, the front is at 13 and three quarters inches, we're still after 15, so guess what? We need to pull the shocks back off, we're going to add somewhere between 7 and 10 more turns in there, and then we're going to adjust the crossover range to get it. This is why when you get these instructions and you put them to their specification, it's strictly just a starting point. Now you get a tear apart and get them all exactly all right. right. In conclusion, putting on the dual rate spring setup, setting it up to shock therapy settings. Now we had to go, we went 7 eighths more of an inch on the preloads. And we, all, we matched that with our crossover rings down so it matches the amount gone down to work right. So now that we have our 15 inches of ride height, 15 inches of ride height, we're, at, we're where we need to be. It's time to go ride this bad boy.